Welcome back to Legendary Tributes. Robert Eugene Bruggers was an American professional football player and professional wrestler. Bruggers played as a linebacker for five seasons for the Miami Dolphins and San Diego Chargers in the AFL and the NFL. In 1969, Bruggers was traded to the San Diego Chargers, where he played for two seasons before retiring from professional football in 1971. Bruggers died in Florida on May 10th at the age of 80. Jasper Kenneth White Jr. was an American chef, restaurateur, and cookbook author. He was considered to be a leading authority on the cuisine and food industry in New England, with a particular focus on seafood. In 1983, he opened Jasper's, a restaurant on Boston's waterfront. It was here that he carved out a niche in the local food scene, deconstructing classics on his hate cuisine menu. He died on May 11th at the age of 69. Susan Jane Backlinney was an American actress and stunt woman. She was known for playing Chrissy Watkins, the shark attack victim, in the opening scene of Steven Spielberg's 1975 film Jaws. As a stunt woman, she played a dead prostitute floating down the river in the Blue Night, 1973 and was seen in a falling elevator in the Towering Inferno, 1974. She died on May 11th at the age of 77. Mark Damon was an American film producer and actor. He won the Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year, actor for his performance in Roger Corman's House of Usher, before moving to Italy and becoming a notable spaghetti western star and member of the 1960s, Dolce Vita set of actors and actresses in Rome. During the early 1970s, he became a film producer and one of Hollywood's prolific producers. He founded the production company's Producers Sales Organization, Vision International, MDP Worldwide, and Foresight Unlimited. He died on May 12th at the age of 91. Samuel Arthur Williams was an American playwright and screenwriter, television producer, and actor on stage, television, and film. Much of his work concerns the African-American experience. Williams was nominated for a Tony Award and a Drama Desk Award for his play Home, 1979, which moved from the Negro Ensemble Company to a Broadway production in 1980. In the mid-1980s, he received two Emmy nominations for his work for TV series. He died on May 13th at the age of 78. Donald David Perlin was an American comic book artist, writer, and editor. He is best known for Marvel Comics' Werewolf by Night, Moon Knight, The Defenders, and Ghost Rider. In the 1990s, he worked for Valiant Comics, both as artist and editor, where he co-created Bloodshot. Perlin died on May 14th at the age of 94. Tony John Windus was an American professional basketball player who played in the NBA for the Detroit Pistons. Windus played college basketball at the University of Wyoming, where he ranked second all-time in the school's career scoring average with 21.2 points per game. He appeared in nine games for the Pistons in the 1959-60 NBA season, and he averaged 4.0 points per game, 5.2 rebounds per game, and 3.6 assists per game. Windus was a native of Long Island and lived in Rawlings, Wyoming. He died on May 14th at the age of 91. Robert Barefoot Bob McCready was an American dirt modified racing driver. He is an inductee in the Lowe's Motor Speedway Walk of Fame, the Northeast Dirt Modified Hall of Fame, and the Eastern Motorsports Press Association Hall of Fame. McCready raced for Florida in the southwestern United States and in Australia and Canada, compiling 507 track victories between 1975 and 2005. He has won at 56 speedways, captured 29 points championships, and eight series championships. Bob McCready died on May 15th at the age of 73. Taylor Tate's Locke was an American basketball coach. 
He was described by Rick T. Lander in the March 8, 1982 issue of Sports Illustrated as being as high-strung, aggressive, and gung-ho over college coaching as anyone has ever been. He died in Jacksonville, Florida on May 15th at the age of 87. William Egger Gossage was an American motor sports executive and promoter. He was best known as the president of the Texas Motor Speedway, a 1.5-mile, 2.4-kilometer banked racetrack in Fort Worth, Texas, which ran stock car racing and Indy car racing events throughout his tenure. He had also held positions at numerous companies and holding various public relations positions. He died on May 16th at the age of 65. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.